Hey everybody, what is going on today? My name is Buddy Blackford and I'm going to show you a couple ways to force motion blur onto objects in CS6. So we can do this to video or we can do this to um, pictures or images or anything like that. And there's certain ways to do it and if you just try to do it the wrong way it's not going to work and you're going to be like what the hell is going on man. So I'm going to show you the right way to do things. So first we're, we're just going to bring in um, a video real quick and let's uh, bring it in I got a I cut it by accident earlier in a different tutorial and I haven't fixed it yet but pretty much this video is just a, a line moving moving forward let me uh, ram preview this for you so we don't have to uh, wait for it to load every two seconds alright so it's just this now let me try to add motion blur to this and we can see what happens I enabled the switch here which enables it for the comp and I'm gonna enable it for the uh, layer here and I'll ramp preview and um, you're just gonna basically see that nothing happens I'll change it on and change it off you see that nothing happens so you don't got any motion blur in your video here because it doesn't have any uh, position keyframes or rotation keyframes or anything like that to transform it it's just a video let me move out of scale this video down a little bit so we can see it a little more so how are we gonna add motion blur to this well there is a way we can use it and the effect is called CC wide time the I type it in here CC wide and it's under the time section so um, I'm gonna use the uh, this section over here to uh, add my effects and presets so I'm gonna bring it over here and drag it on to my layer and now you can see that some motion blur has been added and the it adds it um, a lot to the line here because it is moving more and to the stuff in the back not as much you can adjust the way that your blur looks by using these forward steps and backward steps so if I bring this up you can see he's a lot more uh, blurred out I'll bring that back to one maybe and I'll increase this one and this one he blurs you can see that when I was increasing it his blur goes backwards a little more so just use that to get the the style that you want I'm gonna change my preview settings here it's on final quality I'm gonna put it on fast draft so we can uh, see what's going on a little faster we don't have to wait around all the time with the uh, fast draft turned down I can easily scrub and it'll it, it may not look the best but I don't have to wait forever to, for it to uh, render and load so that helps me when I'm doing my tutorials so the way you can uh, check to see how this uh, looks with the uh, with the effect on and with it off is by clicking on this effects button up here and that will give you uh, some look to see how it's working so there is another way here and that is um, an effect called CC force motion blur so I'm gonna type that in here and here we go it's under the time in the effects so we'll drag that on top and you can see as that that brings a motion blur forward also and we can we have a couple more uh, samples here we can increase the sampling which uh, will make it um, kind of like the uh, samples in our comp settings under the advanced tab like our samples here and then we've got our shutter angle and if we bring that up uh, higher we can see a lot more and this goes way up we can bring this up really high 
to get a lot of motion blur if we want. So you have a little more um, playroom with that when you're using the force motion blur. So this is a decent way to get motion blur onto uh, video footage that moves. So I'll just like bring it up here and then if I turn it off you can see how it it kind of messes with the time and warps the time a little bit to force a motion blur into the uh, um, into the video footage. Now these effects can be used on um, other things like images too but they don't work the same way. So I'm going to delete this uh, line out of here and I'm going to add in just an image and it doesn't matter what it's of. Um, let's bring this hot dog cat in and I'll just cut him out real quick so we can see how this is gonna work out for us move our mask a little bit more so he's right in the middle alright so we got a mask here and I'll just move this from left to right with the position and just keyframe it oops move that keyframe all the way to the end and I'll move this one across like this so we go in the middle here we can see if we enable motion blur it's going to motion blur fine but maybe we want to use the effects instead and the effects will work with the motion blur already so what we're gonna do is come to uh, let's try to add the effects on it first and I'll show you what happens so let's add CC force motion blur to it and you can see nothing happens even with uh, motion blur enabled or anything like that nothing's gonna happen no matter how much I increase um, this is because the uh, the effect only works on a composition so what we're gonna need to do is pre-compose this into a composition so we're going to go to layer and then come to the bottom to pre-compose and just click on move all attributes into the new composition hit OK and now if we add CC force motion blur to it the composition now we get some motion blur going on here and you can um, mess with the shutter angle and everything like that just the same now we can open this up and turn on the motion blur also here like that go back to our um, original comp here and we'll just throw on the motion blur for that and these will work with each other if I turn the native motion blur on and they will kinda like work together to create um, a, another kind of motion blur there so you can use those to tweak each other and um, not mess too much with the composition settings if you don't want to so maybe you have a couple things in your comp that need to have different types of motion blur use the CC force motion blur on them instead of everything in your comp settings because this is gonna affect everything that's in there and uh, this effect can just uh, just uh, pretty much affect one composition within your composition so I usually use just the uh, motion blur in itself but um, I wanted to uh, show you the, this uh, CC force motion blur pretty much because it's a decent tool and when I was using it earlier I was just trying to put it onto the image just like I was showing you not how to do before by just trying to like put it on top of the uh, original image without um, putting it into a composition first and I was, like couldn't figure out what the hell was going on for like probably like 25 minutes and I was like getting mad and everything like that so I had to go look it up and so if you ever get stuck on something and you don't see it in like a tutorial because sometimes you can't go over everything just a little just type it in into Google and look it up it's easy to find to find stuff like that so thanks for watching this and uh, hopefully you don't have to struggle with it at all like I had to for 25 minutes but uh, it's a pretty awesome tool See you guys in the uh, next tutorial, and be sure to um, thumbs up if you liked it. Have a good one, everybody.